Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 42 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There, we look at the circuits. We have two batteries, right? We can call it epsilon 1, epsilon 2. And we have resistance, resistor R, R, small r, and capital R. Now, we need to find what is the voltage across the resistors R, this part. As you can see, if we want to find the voltage across it, we can use the current across it and then times the resistance. So this is our plan, right? And the current can split as I1 and I2. Do you agree? Yes. So now let's see how we do it. Because this has two batteries, our strategy is to use Karhoff loops. So first loop is from the Epsilon1 to I1 to I1 plus I2. This way, right? As we can see, the EMF, Epsilon1, increase the voltages, and the current goes through R, decrease the voltages. So minus I1 times R, small r, minus I1 plus I2 uh, times R. This is still making the voltage decreases equal to zero, right there. And also, we can get the second loop, and from the Epsilon to I2 to R. So this one, we can see, this is the battery, the EMF epsilon 2 increase the voltages, and then the current goes through the resistor R, so minus I2 times R, and minus the I1 plus I2 times capital R equal to 0. Agree? Now you can see, from these two equations, we have two variables, I1 and I2. Of course, we can solve it, get I1 and I2, right? First of all, we input the given quantities. We can get the relationship between I1 and I2. Now we input the, this I2. We replace the I2 as I1, so we put this part inside. And input the given quantities. We get I1 equal to this number, and I2 equal to this number. Now you can see the current I1 plus I2 is applied there, and times the resistance R. We get a final answer there. Thank you.